Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, somebody asked me if there was any way to install Windows 11 without having to go through a Microsoft account. Now, in the standard form of the install of Windows 11, no, you cannot from there. Even without internet, it's going to tell you got to connect. It, there's no loophole here. But there is a way to do it. And the way to do it is to create a um, thumb drive with the image of Windows and use uh, one of the apps. The one I use all the time is Rufus. I know uh, there are others out there that actually can do it too. So when you actually create your USB thumb drive with Windows, so you use the image that you download from um, the Microsoft website, and of course choose your USB thumb drive. But when you click that Start button, it asks you for a few questions. And there are quite a few things you can turn off. So here, for example, you have Remove Requirements for the minimum requirements. This will actually have you install on an unsupported machine. Then look at this one, remove the requirements for an online Microsoft account. This will actually jump through that step and you'll be able to install with the uh, Microsoft account you want. But for that to happen, you'll have to also create a local account with a specific username. Preferably, you can already you know, try um, you know, um, uh, James you know, PC, for example, I'm going to give it the name here for the account. This will be the local account created when you install with the, uh, the image that Rufus will have actually implemented within the image. So when you install, it's going to create just a, um, you know, local account with the name you want to give it already. And of course, it will not ask for a uh, online Microsoft account. Then, of course, you can uh, set regional options to uh, the same value as the PC, for example, that you will be creating this image. You can disable data collection, see, skip privacy questions. So it's not removing everything, but it's removing a lot of the questions that's being asked during the install. And then you have the disabled BitLocker automatic device encryption. Uh, if you're using a pro version, you might have that um, enabled by default sometimes. But uh, usually we don't really touch this. Uh, the part that, you know, for this video that's important is mostly remove the requirement for a Microsoft account and create a local account and give it a name. And then you click OK. And then it's going to ask you that you want to, you know, create the device. Are you OK with destroying the data on your USB thumb drive? And off you go, it's going to create that uh, that um, USB thumb drive, and it will have that requirement where you don't have to uh, actually log into a Microsoft account when you install Windows 11. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.